Alright, hi. I'm Joel. I'm going to show you how to tune a banjo. This is a five string banjo. And uh, the first thing to know is I'm going to show you how to tune it into the standard tuning for bluegrass music, uh, which is G tuning. It's an open chord of G. Um, the other common tunings are C tuning, which is for which is used in folk music. Um, I remember that because C is for communist, so um, helps me remember, you know, Pete Seeger. Um, the other two tunings that are sometimes used in bluegrass and country music are D and D minor. Um, but the standard tuning that you're almost always going to hear, you know, the tuning of um, most songs you'll hear by Earl Scruggs or anybody else is in G. Um, so, uh, so first the easy method. If you are a guitar player, um, these three strings, banjo has five strings, okay, and the three strings in the middle are the same as the second, third, and fourth string on a guitar. So if you're an experienced guitar player, you know how to tune a guitar, you know how to tune a banjo, that's a D, a G, and a B right there. And then your first string is tuned to the third fret of the second string. It's a D. Okay? Okay. Then the fifth string, the fifth string is the fifth fret of the D string. The fifth fret of the first string. Okay? Okay, now that sounds like my D is out of tune. Okay, so uh, if you are a total beginner, you do not know how to tune a guitar, um, then here's what you do, okay? The easiest thing is get an electronic tuner because you need a reference, okay? But if you use a guitar tuner, you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to result, resort to the method that I just told you about and tune it as if it's a guitar. When you try to tune the first string, it's going to tell you that it's flat because the first string on a guitar is an E. Okay, and the fifth string on a banjo is a, is a G. It is the um, octave of the third string. Okay, so the third string is the fundamental tone. It's the G in the G chord. And then the D is the next D down. Okay, so the strings from the fourth to the fifth string are D, G, B, D, G. Okay, so that's going up in pitch, okay? Just by numbers, D, B, G, D, G. Okay? Now, the tricky thing about tuning a banjo is that when you tune a string, you tune the other strings out. So, uh, if you, you have, may have to go through it twice, okay? So get some kind of a reference, like a piano, Okay, so that's D on this badly tuned piano, and then my D here is a little bit sharp. And then you go to the fifth fret, just like on a guitar, but you don't know that because you don't play guitar. the G string, the third string, you go to the fourth fret. Now this banjo is older than I am by about a year, so it has uh, the frets need replacing, so that's actually sharp. So you can also go to the eighth fret of the D string. That fret is usually less worn out. If you bought a banjo at a guitar at a garage sale, <laughs> a guitar swap or something, then uh, the the frets one through five are going to be a little bit um, going to be a little bit flat. Okay. Okay. So then you go to the third fret on the second string on the B string. Now then, 
the fifth fret on the first string. And that, there you go. Now, what you'll have to do is go back and check the D string because it might be out of tune once you've tuned all the other strings, okay? So the best way to check to see that you're in tune is to play a song, and now if you're a total beginner, this isn't gonna work, but you can just strum the chord, and that, that it should sound pleasing, okay? Uh, as pleasing as a banjo can be. Um, I always play Fireball Male to see if I'm in tune. If you have to go through that process, the one string to the next, uh, more than two times, okay? If you have to tune your D string again after you've tuned the rest of the instrument, then and it's still going out of tune every time you adjust a string, then you need to take your banjo in and get it set up because there's something wrong. A banjo has so many parts, and this is why you have to tune it, multi tune it the strings multiple times. Banjo has so many parts that move that uh, if one of those parts is out of out of whack, uh, if there's something wrong with the truss rod, the bridge, the tailpiece, the tone ring, the the uh, what do they call it? The rim rods. Uh, if your rim is bent, if your tone ring is is messed up, then you're not going to be able to tune the banjo. Okay. If you can't tune it consistently and have it stay in tune, um, now it will be out of tune when you take it out of the case. Okay, but if it goes out of tune after you play one song, uh, if you have to tune it two or three times to get it to stay in tune with itself, then you need to take it to a professional and have it worked on. You might need a new head, you might need a new drum head, you might need a new bridge. This bridge is getting kind of old. Um, you know, you might even need a new tailpiece or just to have the tailpiece adjusted or something like that. Um, the last trick is um, if you really cannot tell whether a string is sharp or flat, and you're going like that, so fifth fret on the fourth string, and you're playing the G string, if you're going like, take the string that you're trying to tune and tune it down. Okay? Just. Just don't be scared. And that's because it's much easier to hear a string going into tune when you're tuning it sharp. Okay? So you tune it flat, and then you carefully adjust it up to the note that you need. Okay? This has been uh, How to Tune a Banjo. Have a good day.